and I'm replacing my voltage source with a short circuit. I want to find out now what is ETH prime between here and here. Okay, so my two amps comes in here, gets to this point, and it splits between here and here. So it's got to go against a 40 and, coincidentally enough, a 40 because it's 10 in series with a 30. So it stands to conjecture that there's one amp going through there. It's going through the one amp is going through the 10 ohm resistor. One amp is also going through the 30 ohm resistor because there is no current going this direction because there's no way it can make it across this gap right there. Okay, so one amp going through a 30 ohm resistor is 30 volts and it has a polarity of plus minus 30 volts. And that's E T H prime because we're, that is not the true voltage right now, true Thevenin equivalent resistance because we still, excuse me, Thevenin equivalent voltage because so we still have to solve for our 12 volt source right here. So 12 volt source. We go ahead and replace our open, excuse me, our current source with an open with our 40, our 10, our 30 ohm resistor, and then a 12 volt source hooked up this way. So now we need to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance, excuse me, Thevenin equivalent voltage between terminals A and B here. And I'm going to call that E double prime TH because it's not the total voltage right here. It's going to be just that voltage induced by the 12 volt source. Okay, so we know that the 12 volt source is going to establish a current going in this direction given that its positive terminal is there and its negative terminal is there. Because it's hooked up in this manner, we're going to have to do something a little bit different with this. So first off, let's find the source current. Okay, it's the applied voltage, in this case 12 volts, divided by the total resistance. In this case, the total resistance is equal to 40 plus 10 plus 30 our total applied voltage was again was 12 because remember it's going out of the 12 volt going this way going through the 40 ohm going through the 10 ohm going through the 30 so they're all in series and again there's no way electrons can go this way no way electrons can go that way so it looks like it's a total of 12 divided by 80 So it's 150 milliamps. So if there's 150 milliamps going through a 30 ohm resistor, we should expect four and a half volts drop plus to minus 4.5 for the 30 ohm resistor. So now we're asked between voltage VA and B. So it's not 4.5 4 volts because we still have a 12 volt source here. We can do our Kirchhoff's voltage law in this case. It's basically is VB is equal to 12.5 volts. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. VB is equal to 12 volts. VA is equal to 4.5 volts. So VAB is equal to VA minus VB. What you get is this situation where 4.5 minus 12 is minus. 7.5 volts VAB. What this means is 
VB is actually at a higher potential than VA. So resultant is we've got negative 7.5 A to B, or we have plus minus 7.5 in that direction. So now, according to the superposition theorem, means that we can algebraically summate B double prime TH plus E single prime TH for our total ETH. So earlier we calculated that it was 30 volts for our single prime. And now in this case, we've got negative 7.5. So 30 minus 7.5 is a total 22.5 volts. Meaning we can recreate this entire network right here using these things. as 22.5 volts with an 18.75 ohm resistor in series. And now put our RL in there. This looks substantially easier than this over here, doesn't it? OK, so now we need to find IL, VL, P of L, total power, and the efficiency. So, what is I of L? I of L is equal to, well, since it's a series load, it's going to be equal to the applied voltage divided by the total resistance. In this case, it's 22.5 volts. Divided by, in our case, is I of L is 100, so it's 118.75. That's 22.5 divided by 118.75. Our total current going through our load resistor is 189.5 milliamps. Voltage to the load? Well, we could use the current right here, IR. But we could also use the voltage divider rule. 100 divided by 100 plus 18.75 times 22.5. gives us 18.95 volts. What is the power delivered to the load? Power delivered to the load is voltage to the load times current to the load, or IL squared R, or VL squared over R. Either way, they should be equal to 3.591 watts. Okay, we were asked to find the total power. Okay, the total power delivered by the source means it's putting effort into the 18.75 and into the uh, load resistor of 100 ohms. So, how much power is it putting into the 18.75 ohm resistor? Well, IL squared R because it's a series, we can use that same current. So it's 18.95 milliamperes squared times 18.75 ohms, 673.3 milliwatts. OK, now it's asked to find, so that's basically eight power to the 18.75 plus the power to the load is equal to our total power. So power to the, excuse me, total power is 3.591 watts plus 